people. Guess what? We have another house to tour today. I, there has actually been a, quite an influx of new houses that have come into our portal. Uh, we are very quick, Alex and I, now that we have in our mind like what we want, we're very quick to be like, no, 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 no now. Whereas before we were like, oh, maybe let's entertain the idea. But we found one uh, that may work. So we're going to go check it out. Hope you enjoy that. And then I think we plan on going to Costco because we have an appointment with them to get one of our tires fixed. We actually just got them, not just a few months ago. Well, I guess maybe it's been like half a year now. I don't know, maybe almost a year, but they have a lifetime warranty where if something goes wrong, you can go up there and they can fix it, but it keeps deflating. So I don't know what, maybe we ran over a nail or something. Short story long, we're going to Costco. Who doesn't love that? And I have no idea what we're doing for the rest of the day. So I hope you enjoy hanging out with us. Let's go. Oh, also <laughs> I'm wearing my cool skirt. Okay. So the entry of the house is right here. The doors are gorgeous. Am I right? Um, there's a nice little closet, little, little closet. When I say teeny tiny coat closet, uh, definitely wouldn't fit all my kids' backpacks. This is a nice little formal living room situation. And to our left, ooh, hold on. Let me give you a peek on the floor. So fancy. They have, this is the dining room, a little smaller in person. Let me take you off fisheye view so you can get a real, uh, you know, I mean, not that large. The chandelier hangs probably to my belly button. <laughs> a little exaggeration there. Okay, and then off of here would be the main living spaces. This is the bathroom. I don't wanna talk about this right now, okay? I will come back to the kitchen. <laughs> Did I just say bathroom? That's how I feel about this. Okay, uh, here is the living room. Maybe I was just thinking bathroom. I love the ceilings. I love those boards. Um, oh, a nice little built-in over here for all the water bottles up there. I love the fireplace. I mean, obviously I would like paint the rock, but I actually don't even need a fireplace. Again, here are some sliding doors out into the pool. Oh, you'll see more sliding doors in a second. And then this is the kitchen, a beautiful kitchen, right? So what Alex and I were thinking, because our mind is like, what can we do? We need to find our house. So we're also thinking of um, renovations. I don't like this. So this house is back on the market and we had a scheduled showing for this and then i canceled it i was like i don't i can't get wrap my head around this situation so we would just make this an island and then do bar stools uh it, i mean if we were to get this house but it has an extra sink here which i've never had in my life and then a little farmhouse sink right here and when i say little i mean massive a lot of cabinet space in here um oh my gosh look at that fridge wow this is a nice space. Should we peek inside? No one lives here. It should be empty. Maybe some water. Ooh, oh my gosh. Look at that fridge. This is what dreams are made of. Oh, oh, and then, okay. So, oh my gosh. Oh, hello. All my spices could fit in there. I won't lose any. They won't fall on me when I'm baking. Well, that is incredible. I did not know about this was not pictured. Oh, wow. That is lovely. All the way to the floor. Do you see? Oh my word, okay, but then this uh, is the pantry. Oh, this is nice too. Okay, this went beyond my expectations. You can definitely tell whoever lived here. Uh, ooh, they're fancy, look at them. They left out some Merlot. I don't know if that's Merlot, I know nothing about wine. All right, so we're done with the kitchen. Let's go on the, oh, over here. I guess I'll show you the uh, laundry room right off of the garage, so the front door dining room and then the laundry room is here nice size laundry room happy about it it's off of well it's right next to the living room so you're going to be listening to that thump 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 as you're watching tv all right let's head down this whoa super long hallway okay we're going down the hallway with uh, uh it's very long i guess this is where all the bedrooms are oh i don't enjoy when the sliding glass doors are in a bedroom straight to the pool. To me, that's just like um, great for sneaking out and also dangerous because I never know when the door is going to be open or shut. This is ooh, a much bigger bedroom. Wow, they have they put tile everywhere, huh? Ooh, this bedroom has a nice little ensuite. Ooh, the candles going, the ambiance. Do you feel it? I actually 
like the countertops. I know they might be dated. It looks like they're a little upgraded. Um, yeah, that's a nice looking bathroom to me. I don't know. I'm not very hard to please. Okay, let's make our way back out to the hallway and see the rest of the rooms down here. Another, ooh, a bathroom. Okay, and right off of the pool. <laughs> it's like the pool lines most of the rooms in this house. All right, so nothing extraordinary. Great, <laughs> that's kind of my life. It's a great way to describe myself. Nothing extraordinary. And this is, oh, another bedroom with sliding glass doors. Why? Okay, I would love to make all of these French doors, but my kids are way too young to be having access to the pool, like unattended. Does that make sense? Oh, wow, do I love this. So this is an extra grand room. I don't know what the, a living room for the kids, a playroom. Is this supposed to be a bedroom? There are closets here. I'm gonna have to double check. This is a five bed. Um, it's quite large. I actually forgot the square footage of this, but if you can peek on the outside, I love the French doors here. And then, great, double French doors to the pool as well. But this backyard, holy cow. Let me see if I can go out there. It's locked and I am an idiot. There we go. Oh my, well, if this isn't a selling feature, I don't know what is. There's Gary showing us the property line. Hey, thank you, Gary. <laughs> okay, I'm coming back inside. I think this is a playroom. I was actually, it's an open house. So I was talking to our realtor uh, or the realtor that's in the house, um, but I forgot to ask her if that is a playroom. Dang, this hallway is long. <laughs> Take me two extra minutes in the morning just to walk down there, wake the kids up. Okay, so I'm gonna head to this side of the house. It is a split floor plan where the main bedroom is on one side, which you know we like. Oh, wow, double doors to the bathroom. It's kind of like a Jack and Jill, but for adults. So, <gasps> wait, is this an office? Wait, is this the only way to the office? No, there's a door. That is so bizarre to waste all this space just to have an extra door when it's right here. <laughs> I don't know, that seems a little weird. Maybe that's what they wanted. Maybe they were like, yes, I need that. I don't wanna be interrupted. I don't want anyone to see me. Very secluded. Anyway, this is very cool. I like that little labyrinth touch right here. Um, okay, okay, so this is just another bathroom and it is a full bath, which is nice. Hey, we could just live in the office right here. I guess these are built-ins because they're still here. So this is a nice size room. This is actually an office. Oh, but we could make it into a bedroom because it is a, has a closet right here. This is beautiful, great, no sliding glass doors that leads anywhere else. Wow, okay, very, very cool. And then back over here, ooh, okay, where am I going? This is the main bedroom, the wing, the east wing of the house. Okay, well, nothing to write home about. They really like this tile though, I'll say that. And surprise, more sliding glass doors. It's the most sliding glass doors I've ever seen in a single house in my entire life. Oh, okay, the length of that hallway is the length of the bathroom. I am not a huge fan of these things, but I know a lot of people love them. Fancy, schmance. I'm definitely not fancy, so it doesn't matter what I think at all. Ooh, that's a closet. Yes, this is a closet. What would we hang? We could hang all our backpacks in here. <laughs> It'd be way too far, it'd be a mess. Um, but what I hang there, I don't know. I have nothing fancy to hang. Beautiful closet. All right, let's see if there's anything fancy about these. Nope, just cubbies. Oh, some shelves. Okay, coming back out here. That's a nice shower, a nice potty. Oh, look at the touches here. I mean, look at that. They went all out and more sliding glass doors. Should we be surprised? <laughs> uh, a nice little I don't, deck out here. That was pretty nice, right off of the bathroom. Head straight out of the shower and catch your 15 minutes of Florida sunshine. Get your vitamin D for the day and you're good to go. All right. Well, I think we've seen it all. Oh, other than the um, pool area, they're talking out there. Okay, so all of this area. Nice. I guess I could just go out there. Oh, it's hot out there. Can you see? <laughs> I do like these fancy light bulbs in the formal living room. That looks very nice. Okay, ooh, and I do like, I don't know what this style window is called, but I like that. 
I like the panels down here. I don't know what anything is called, guys. I just know when I like something when I don't like it. This is, is interesting. <laughs> what about this floor? I feel like you're inside, but also outside. All right, the recessed lighting. Okay, cool. Okay, I don't think I showed you these little cabinets either. Very cool. I'll give you, I don't think I gave you a very good overview of the kitchen from this angle, but it's a nice space. I'm showing Alex the uh, sunroom out there. This is where we would get naked? <laughs> That's where you can have no sun lines, yeah. Okay. So nice, can I nice little. Can I try it out before we buy it? <laughs> well, Gary, you know, where is he? Alex is checking out the attic because that's what's really important. I'm surprised they have the stairs there if it's not like a built, built out attic. Yeah. But there's a light! No space up there. I'm at Costco now, probably in the most dangerous section. All of the snack foods. And I find I don't come out down here a lot because it's mostly like chocolate covered whatever. But I found some snacks. I thought I would share them with you. I wasn't planning on filming anything. I'll show you my cart. I was also not planning on coming home with a cart full, but here we are. I just always make sugar-coated pecans like in my oven or Instant Pot. But now that I'm thinking about it, this is two pounds. Oh, well, I guess the sugar adds weight. That's 2.5 pounds for 12 and a half dollars. And these are pretty much the same price. Anyway, that is nothing what I wanted to show you. These 180 snacks, salted caramel almond cashew with pumpkin seeds. Yes, give me all of it. Duke's has some uh, shorty sausages. They're on sale, $7.69. All of this chocolate, just give it to my baby. Give it to me. You know that song? Okay, no, just me. Teriyaki mochi rice nuggets. Those seem very interesting. They're on sale right now for five bucks. I just feel like I would chip a tooth on that. Passing these again, these no sugar keto cups. Look how delicious they look. And listen, Costco isn't setting out free samples anymore. So someone took it in their own hands cracked open a box. <laughs> well, I feel like we might as well take advantage, right? See what they look like on the inside. All right, that's how big they are. Cool. Don't come after me. I put it back in the box. Are you helping some more? Can you help me push the groceries? Oh yeah. Hear the music? You want to dance? Oh. This? You going to do the grocery haul? Finally home from Costco. It actually takes me longer to bring all the groceries in than it takes me to like drive back and forth. You notice anything? Actually, why does it look messy? Oh, the lunchbox. We must fix that. Oh, great. Didn't fix anything. Made it worse. Wentworth eats so much food, so much more food than the girls eat that the food does not fit in his lunchbox. I always have to give him our spare lunchbox from Ikea that I got for like a dollar. It fits everything. Okay, so let me show you everything I got from the hall. Here's Meredith just hanging out in the rolly cart. That's how we bring everything in. You're gonna play in there? Oh, you're such a cutie patoot. Okay, here is the hall as a whole. Let's try to speed through this, shall we? Actually, the hall as a whole would include those things, which they didn't fit over there. And I'm pretty sure this bag is leaking, which is ironic because it's the one that I didn't put in like an extra bag, whatever. Okay, here we go. We were just out of some veggies, so I grabbed some carrots, some spinach. <laughs> Have you seen that one meme? There's so many memes about like finishing a thing of spinach. I'll try to find it and put it on the screen. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, I always share Meme Monday on Instagram. It's always a good time. I grabbed some mangoes. These are pretty firm, which I kind of wanted to make like mango salsa. I was trying to look for soft ones, couldn't find them. I grabbed one thing of strawberries. I don't know. They, my kids usually eat a ton of them. I think because they're out of season for us now. And actually these look really good, but I just, they haven't been eating them like they usually do. Grabbed a bundle of bananas. I also grabbed some broccoli florets, fresh ones. You guys know we usually buy a bunch of frozen broccoli, but fresh broccoli in the oven roasted just hits a different, you know, taste buds in my body, you know what I mean? So that's my plan with that. And then I got some mandarin oranges. We've been eating through those and energy and they're juicy and delicious. Got some raspberries, blueberries. Ooh, I plan on making these um, parfaits, mostly because I was on Pinterest scrolling through and I found these containers where you can meal prep or make ahead parfaits and they looked so cool. 
I don't really want to buy them because like I they're plastic and what if I don't wash every single one of them and what if you know some of them are inevitably going to end up in the garbage anyway so I'm having that inner turmoil I want them but I don't want them kind of thing anyway I do plan on eating these with yogurt <gasps> oh, and I want to buy my granola, which I didn't stop by Publix on the way home. Publix has my favorite granola, and I think I need a few more things from Publix. I do plan on making ricotta cheese is something else that I need. I plan on making like a chicken lasagna. I almost got the lasagna from Costco, but Alex has been noticing. He's been trying to find out what... Uh, specifically what foods bother him the most and he has discovered pork and beef uh, because he's allergic to casein <laughs> we know this but through the years he's just kind of introduced it back into his body and hasn't really noticed a big change but i guess having eaten it for quite some time he is noticing a bigger change obviously <laughs> are you stuck yeah. stuck can you say stuck yeah. <laughs> okay would you like to come out a one two three you want to say hi? I love when she tucks her hands behind her back. She's so cute. Dinosaurs have great big feet that stomp, stomp, stomp. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I was saying. Yeah, so Alex is allergic to stuff, so I'm trying not to buy that. Yeah, so I didn't buy the beef lasagna from Costco. I plan on making a chicken lasagna, but then he's allergic to casein. It has a lot of dairy in it. Oh man, whatever. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I bought a lot of dairy. Oh. Baby steps, right? We'll do what we can. All right. He has not explicitly said uh, no dairy, which he's the one who eats more dairy than probably anyone else. So you know what? It's his body and I let him make his choices. <laughs> I, all I can do is my best. Okay, cilantro. Oh, yes, we've been making a lot of meals with cilantro. Last night we had some pico with tacos and some really great stuff. Okay, cilantro was the star of the show. Well, for me anyway. Oh, Meredith, you're just so cute. <laughs> How can I get anything done with you around, okay? But I must. I grabbed two cantaloupes and the cost of two of these at Costco versus one I bought at Publix the other day, same price. It was like three something. I got two pineapples. I plan to make dinner with one of them. It's like a chicken pineapple dish. I don't know, grilled, but we'll see if it makes it to the outside grill or just to George Foreman. We ended up opening, I ended up opening these in the, oh, thank you, in the car. I didn't mean to grab that. I guess she was handing it to me, uh, mostly because I was eating these chips and they're pretty spicy and then I wanted to give her something to nibble on in the car. Anyway, it's a long, short story long, I opened those. I also got some Brussels sprouts, some seaweed. We love having this for dinner with really anything or rice. My kids like to put rice in the middle of them and any meat we're having or, again, just rice, maybe some beans. We got some honey. Another dinner idea, I, I am planning on a what's for dinner video, so I like semi-meal prepped or planned, semi-meal planned. And so I need some honey, and I think it's like honey, lime, drumsticks, which I bought the drumsticks, hence the drumsticks. Oh, and speaking of chicken, how much was this piece of crap chicken? I used, I feel like chicken used to be cheap, the chicken thighs, and maybe I just haven't looked at the price in a while, and I know prices have gone up since, you know, everything going on, $2.19 per pound. Is that normal? I feel like they used to be less than that, but I don't really know, $18.46. I is like a decent price because for dinner we typically use two well one and a half i think we can get by we normally have leftovers or we have people over so i use two packs so this will last us three meals three meals and leftovers so six dollars for meat every meal i don't know that is seems a little extreme i have been introducing a few more meatless meals into our uh <laughs> meal plan lately what was that face <laughs> Oh, and the kids like to eat seaweed like as a chip. Okay, I also got this. The other night we had a bunch of people over and I was like, what the heck am I gonna make for all you creeps? I ended up making these. There are four pizzas in here and I made some with chicken and barbecue and some with uh, tomato sauce and mozzarella and it was a hit. All the kids just loved it. So I figured <laughs> I would buy it again and just have it. It's shelf stable until you open it. So I really enjoyed that. Or if you open it and only eat one, you can just throw the rest in the freezer. It's great. I also got some pecans. I have special plans with this. I plan on making like a either a coffee cake or pecan. What did I find? Pecan muffins, I think, which really 
They're trying to use the word muffin to make you think it's healthy, but it's definitely not. Some granola bars, vinegar. Did I say this was going to be fast? Cheese, cheese, oil, chips, chips, chips. Paper towels. And that concludes our Costco experience. You know what the worst part about this outfit is? You can't see how cool it is from the top of me. <laughs> I'll just film like this. Um, so I'm gonna put all of the groceries away and then the kids will surely be home from school and we'll probably, I don't know, do something fun, watch a movie, maybe make some popcorn. Typically every weekend we have uh, friends or cousins over. I don't think we have any plans for someone to come over this weekend or at least tonight. Brownie Friday! I need to make some brownies. Well, first I need to put the food away. I'm finally gonna light this candle that Alex got me for Christmas. It's buttermilk pancakes and syrup, check it. It's straight from Cracker Barrel, my favorite place of all time. Uh, little does he know that I despise the scent of syrup. Golly, where's this lighter from? Come on, Kim, everyone's watching. I'm holding a baby and filming, so. Touch his head. Oh my gosh. We're FaceTiming, picking up Wentworth. He's playing with all the all the ladies. <laughs> all right, it already smells good. Really, I just want to burn it so it's over with. If you're wondering about this one, it's a story for another time. I have a confession. That candle's been burning for like 4.5 seconds. It actually smells really good. I lit it thinking, well, maybe my house will smell like Cracker Barrel. So we can hope. What do you want to do, outside? Everything is nice and put away. Joy to the world. Wipe down the countertop. I do see a laundry basket over there, which I should probably do some laundry. I feel like this may be a haul of all of our favorite things. I have a house hunting, a Costco haul, and right now I feel the urge, I have a little bit of time in my day, to um, get a Mother's Day gift. When is Mother's Day? Actually, someone mentioned it the other day and I was like, is it sad that I didn't even know Mother's Day was coming up? <laughs> Okay, well, when is Mother's Day? Mother's Day in the United States will be on Sunday, May 9th, 2021. So that's pretty close, right? May 9th? By the way, I ask my home device, like everything, every question I ever have, he's got the answers. It's incredible. What did we do before like Google was in our face 24 seven? We would just sit there on the couch, like just asking each other questions. I wonder this, I want, oh yeah, yeah, I wonder. You know what I mean? Like the other day we were watching the Golden Girls, Alex and I, we were on the couch and we asked some question like, oh, oh, the oldest woman who plays Sophia, who's supposed to be like the mother of them, she's actually the youngest of the bunch. Isn't that ironic? Anyway, we were wondering like, how much younger is she? She's just a year younger, but it's just ironic. Anyway, it's irrelevant. What I'm trying to get to is, what did we do before the internet? Because I know we did things. I think maybe we just weren't as effective. Okay, so anyway, I plan on going to, well, I plan on going to Home Goods. I have no idea what I'm gonna get my mom. I feel like I normally just put together a whole care package box of just random stuff. Really, when I try to put together a gift, I think, what would I like? <laughs> and then I send it off. So let's go find some Mother's Day stuff. Alex just took uh, Meredith, so she's napping. Ooh, something's in my shoe. A fish fish in my shoe. Anyway, I'm putting on my good old blue suede shoes here. Meredith is napping, Alex has her, and I just tidied up the house a little bit. Just enough, you know? All of those are clean dishes. Oh, wait, I think this milk. But like, I tidied up. By the way, this candle, I know you've all been hanging on the edge of your seats waiting for my review. I actually love it. It smells exactly like buttermilk pancakes and syrup. I thought I would hate it. I love it. And we lit it for like, I don't know, 100 hours, and there's barely anything gone. It's amazing. Yankee Candle, you're doing things right, okay? Also, Alex finally broke down and told me that the candle was actually $40. <gasps> Hashtag not worth it. Just made it to Home Goods. Let's see if they have any goodies inside. A. All right, let's see what we can find. Ooh, what about this lady? You think she'll fit in a box? No, I don't think so either. What about this bench? I would love to have this bench. $200. I don't think that will work either. Okay, let's move along. I feel like a wind chime is always really nice. They had one a while ago. Oh my gosh, does that say $20? Okay, maybe it's not that nice. Maybe I need to find a smaller one. Dogs welcome, people tolerated. That's my kind of wind chime right there. Oh, 
Oh, this one has cats on it. Okay, how about this one? My mom loves cats. $15 for this one. Gosh, I feel like that would be annoying. <laughs> Everyone at Home Goods hates me right now. Oh, a hummingbird. This one's pretty, but again, $20. My gosh, I didn't know wind chimes were so pricey. Are you kidding me with all this flamingo gear? I don't even know what these are. Bowls, but they come in a set and they're flamingos. This is amazing. Of course, they're Tommy Bahama. $17 for three bowls? That's less than the wind chime. I feel like cups are always a great gift and I really like those. The bad news is they are not dishwasher safe. Look at these cups too. Aren't these darling? These are not dishwasher safe either. $5 for like, oh my gosh, these are huge. One, two, eight cups. It's amazing. Ooh, all the lemon and honeybee stuff. Oh, look at this avocado plate for like chips and dip. That's really cute. Ooh, I like those up there. What do you put in those? Plants probably, are those plant stands? These are adorable. All right, well, I'm not getting any of that. All right, here's some more cool stuff from mom. Number one mom, home is where mom is. I mean, my mom doesn't live anywhere near me, so that might be offensive to send her. <laughs> uh, Ray Dunn kit, nah, uh, nothing's catching my eye. Well, you can't send a gift without a treat. I almost sent these stroop waffles, but then I saw the heavenly hunk of chunks. Gosh, the music is pumping. It's making me laugh, that's so ridiculous. They have some vases up there. I think these are vases. Balls, yes it is. Uh, be kind. What does this say off to the right? Strawberry? What is that, a birdhouse? Seems so bizarre, I've never seen anything like that before. And then a bunch of mugs. Cool, cool, cool. Give mom more. That's a great motto. Surely my mom does not want anything on this table. <laughs> Ooh, welcome to the beach. Oh yes, look at this lady in her swimsuit. I want to be that lady. <gasps> a candle. Yes, we need to get a candle. Teak and vanilla. I can't open it. No sale. Okay, pots and pans. Cool, cool, cool. But then this. Words to live by, my friends. <laughs> Words to live by. I'm not sure why colorful baking stuff makes me happy, but it definitely does. And then that little rolling pin. It's like a fake rolling pin. Baking is my therapy. Love that. Ooh, a cutting board. All right, hold on, let's go this way. I feel like these spatulas are really pretty. Ooh, look, a tie-dye one back there. Oh, these are fun. But I don't know if my mom does a lot of cooking in general. I know she eats a lot of chicken. <laughs> Ooh, a balloon whisk. Look how big this whisk is. This is a massive whisk. Taking a deeper dive in here. Look, ooh, hold on, look at that little mini spatula. I feel like I need a spatula, I'm always losing mine. Uh, slash it's always dirty. Look at those handles. I mean, I, I don't know if these are like great quality, but the handles sure are cute. And then, what else did I see that was cute? Oh look, I found more spatulas and a spatter screen, mm, sweet. I'm not sure how practical this would be. It's a scrubby, like a loofah. I thought it was just really cute and it like makes me happy. And then they have this one. That looks like vegetables. That one's awesome. And they are four bucks. So I would never use it. I would like hang it and display it. <laughs> Can someone please explain to me why I like the set? Oh my gosh, it looks like it's been used. <laughs> it works. Someone tested it. Anyway, this one reminds me of like the 70s, 80s. I don't know if it's the brown color. Six dollars. Home goods. Why do I want that? Oh, we can see my shoes in the mirror. Da, 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 da. Okay, moving on. I thought this was really cute. This uh, jewelry wall organizer. I mean, you can hang anything on that. I'm not sure how much weight it would hold, but I thought that was really cute. The heart back there. And then moving up, they have a whole bunch of really pretty stuff that, I mean, I don't use, but maybe you like. This is really pretty too. Is this a jewelry box for $15? I mean, I don't have jewelry, but that's a nice box. Okay, wait for it, guys. I saw something and I just had to share it with you. Not only this sign, hilarious, but also this like dog balloon animal. It's making me laugh. Ooh, all these knobs. I don't think I have anything that needs knobs. Hold on a tick. Look at these knobs. That is awesome. Very, very cool. Ooh, $20. Worth it. I feel like anyone can always use a clock, right? That's like a great functional gift. If you never know what to get someone, get them a clock. This one's really cool. I don't even know what kind of stone this is, but it's like different and unique and awesome. I don't know, I'm thinking I would want this, yeah? But also, is it like too different? Like would some people think, oh God, it's hideous? 
probably. That's a really cute sign too. You can lay out your password for guests. Another great generic, just everyone would enjoy it gift uh, to me is like a notepad or something like that. Or one of these where you can kind of plan out your week. I think these are really sweet. Grow with the flow. Yeah. Check it. I found this really cool magnet set. It says mama bear, love mom, cool mom, rad mom. It's hard to read through the picture because these lights are weird, but that's $7. What are these erasers or something? I feel like that's that would get thrown away at my house for sure. Oh my gosh, look, another balloon animal figurine over here. Those are funny. It's only $10. <laughs> okay, anyway, I found some really awesome notebooks. Look at this. It's like in the shape of Florida. I love that. I think most of these are $5. This one's just a smaller one. I mean, it has a ton of pages, five bucks. I love this one. Make today ridiculously amazing. A little more expensive, but it's bigger. This one just says notes, notes again. Just different prints. And then that one has got a bunch of notepads. Oh, and then one more. Oh no, that was it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hold on, there was one more. This one, notepad with pen. It's kind of worth it with that extra pen, right? I paired it down to these three. I mean, I'm definitely getting this one, so that's out of the question. That's a yes. Um, and I recently bought a notepad that was probably this big, probably smaller off of Amazon. It's crappier quality than this, and it was 11 bucks. So a screaming deal i'm about to buy all three of these do i need all three uh no am i even shopping for myself no but here i am look at this a glittery glitter how come i always have trouble saying glittery a glittery balloon dog it's amazing look at that clock behind it wait did we already buy a clock look at these pens how much are they guess that oof almost as much as the notebook is it worth it we'll never know all those baskets make me happy the past few times I've been here, I've come down the art aisle and fell in love with a few pieces. They did have like a clearance. These are a clearance, a flamingo, a couple framed flamingos, and I almost bought them. I should have bought them. I regret not buying them. And here we are, I'm staring at this and I'm like, oh, I love this. Then also thinking, oh, should I buy it? Probably not. It's just so cute. <laughs> Where would I put it? Who the heck knows? All right. Well, now I came down here to see if I could find the flamingos again and I can't, so... Did I say the flamingos? There were two of them and they were only $15. This is 55. I do like it though. Eleanor would love that one. That is so cute. I'll just scan over the rest for you up here. I've made it to the candle aisle. You guys, I'm always on the lookout for the uh, Raw Honey and Neroli candle by DW. And they have so many great scents here by DW. Sunset Sky is great, but they're enormous. I mean, the shipping for the, just that candle alone will be $40 but they do have some great scents. I'm loving all of the outdoor stuff. And then look at this, is this a flamingo? What is that? Is that like a different kind of wind chime? Is that even a flamingo? I don't even know. <laughs> and then over here, I saw something sweet. Ooh, a flamingo putting on some chapstick. Well, she is a sweetie pie, but not for $13. I love that my home goods always has like Florida memorabilia uh miami tampa orlando tallahassee pensacola it's got the southernmost point in there key west i will buy this pillow if it's like less than nah too bad it's 17 dollars. that's a pretty cool pillow though are you kidding me right now is this a joke i wonder if someone bought this because it's up front this is normally where people put it oh, if i could i would get a picture with it but there's nowhere nowhere to put a picture to put my camera I almost forgot that they tend to put a lot of the seasonal stuff right up front. Ooh, I do see a candle. Oh, sunny days. Nah, I don't want that. No, thank you. I watch enough Sesame Street. Some pretty cool 4th of July stuff up here. And then, oh, I'm not sure I can leave without that. Happy birthday, America, with all the gnomes. Like, what? Was this made for me? This is hilarious. I'm loving it. I thought they might have the water bottles up here. They used to. Uh, I know they like to change things up, but look what I found. This watering can is so stinking cute, right? I found a few water bottles, nothing that is taking my breath away. Actually, that one's pretty cool, but look what else I found. A little uh, treat jar for your dogs. Bon Appetit. <laughs> oh, I love it. This smells like straight up Fruit Loops. And look, I found a little, oh, spring. Oh, yeah, I don't like that one. Darn it, I was looking for the other one. As I checked out, she said, enjoy your things. <laughs> I was like, I love that. Most people are like, oh, enjoy the rest of your day. And she's like, enjoy your awesome things.
I did find some pretty cool things. Let me turn the car on. And I have a pretty cool idea of what I plan on doing with some of those things. So I'll be sharing that with you soon. I'm at TJ Maxx now. I found this raw wild honey and nectar. It's like raw honey and Rolly's ugly cousin. I might buy it just because it's like the next best thing. <laughs> It'll like hold me over until I find it. I'm also looking for the key lime again, but I can't find it. Maybe they'll have it up by the front. Look at what they have here though. They have more 4th of July stuff. Oh, look at these, so cool. Kitchen towels, they feel like they won't absorb much. <gasps> these little gnomies. And then we've got some more up here. Ooh, that welcome sign is pretty cool. Right here, wait for it though. That stuff down here is amazing. Okay, I did not buy the ugly cousin. I love this song. I did not buy the candle. The line was too long. I have to get the kids from school and then bring them to the park, meet Alex at the park because Avelina has uh, volleyball today. Fun. Pure chaos here. Well, I think we're about to go on a hike. No. I'm not exactly sure. Alex picked out a place for us to just go and get outdoors and do something. I think it's supposed to thunderstorm tomorrow. So today's a good day to get out. <laughs> what on earth? Censor that out. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna censor what? the atomic wedgie out? Yeah, what do they call that in school? Atomic wedgie. <laughs> That's terrible. Our kids are playing with the most basic toy that we own. Oh, just some boxes. Why do we even buy things for them? Because they just like to play in boxes. I realize I didn't film last night. We had brownies. We did end up having people over. Surprise, surprise. Uh, but no one's over today. I packed some snacks for the hike. I have sunscreen and all that good stuff. Oh and careful, careful. I think that's all I wanted to say. Let's just go. On a nice little trail here. This is nice. So nice. Look how pretty this trail looks. Nature's just so great, isn't it? Finally made it to the greatest trail in Central Florida. It is called the Oregon Trail, Appalachie. Yeah, the Appalachian Trail. That's where we are. What? Definitely in South Flo in Central Florida. Oh, Wentworth already found some sweet artifacts. Ooh, oh yeah, Wentworth did find some house keys randomly. Wild berries. There's water. Is this like a private access beach? This might be a alligator. alligators. The wind is finally letting up. Oh my gosh, what a gorgeous day! Wentworth is finding a bunch of shells. Oh, look, this is a beach. It is. Watch out for the American alligator. Average six to 12 feet around. Yeah. Someone's out there fishing though. He definitely doesn't care about alligators. <laughs> Alex thinks he found a vine for Wentworth to swing on. He's swinging. <laughs> there he goes. George, George, George of the jungle. Does it hurt your hands, Eleanor? <laughs> Mom's first vine jump. You think the vine is gonna fall? <laughs> there you go. Wentworth, Mom got it! Can I try? Can I try? Can I try? <laughs> Whoa! Can I try? Whee! Whee, Mom! Okay. Alright, Avalina. Alright, Avalina. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hold on, Wait. hold on. Let her go back. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> Very nice. Again, <laughs> again, again. Bring your legs. I'll do it too. I'll do it too. Whoa, you got a good grip. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, 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 watch out, watch out. Get up again. Mom, go, go. Big up. Thank you.
thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope you enjoyed your time with me today. I know the video was kind of all over the place. We did a lot of different things, but that's the kind of thing that I enjoy, bouncing around from one thing to the next. I think that makes it more exciting. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your day, and I will see you next time. Bye.